Morning YouTube, how are you going? It's Brad from the Headshot Guys here and I'm going to quickly talk to you today about identifying your stronger side. Now, um, when I start talking about people's stronger side, they often will revert back to, oh, you know, that's just for actors, you know, actors need to know their side. Um, it's not really relevant for a business person. Well, I disagree. Obviously, these days, um, if you've got a small business, you are doing social media, hopefully. Um, if you're not, you should better have a look at that. Um, but if you're watching this, you're probably aware that there is social media out there. If you have a small business, you should be at least looking at YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, potentially. Um, you should have an image headshot um, on your website. Um, maybe on your business card. I've seen people with um, headshots on the side of their cars. So to say that it's only for actors, I think is not really thinking through the whole process. So let's identify people's stronger side. So how do I do that? Really quickly, the first thing I'll do is identify somebody's hair part. Now, which side of their face do they have their hair parted on? Is it their right side or their left side? Um, that's not something that I will often change for somebody because I, you know, they know their own face better than I do. They will often say to me, oh yeah, my hair just goes that way. And I go, hey, listen, it's been, because that's because you've been brushing it like that since you were three. Um, I hear people out there saying, I don't have any hair or I have a straight, or I have a middle part or I have a straight fringe. For those people, I would often look at someone's bigger eye. Now, I think there is 75% of people um, have one eye bigger than the other. So I would quickly look for their hair part. If they have no hair or a straight fringe or hair part in the middle, uh, I would go for their bigger eye. Now, if somebody um, has a straight, uh, sorry, has a straight fringe and the hair part in the middle and no, no, noticeable eye difference that might very well indicate that their best side their stronger side is straight ahead so I might alternatively turn them so that they're front on to the camera so those types of little things can often help you um, identifying your better side particularly if your photographer doesn't understand this stuff um, it's really really important I think for me to be able to understand someone's face and what we're looking for and looking at when we're looking at someone's headshot. Um, so obviously I shoot into a big screen, a big 34 inch screen in my studio. It's a 90 minute session when you come in. So we have plenty of time to identify your side, to work on your best expression, but certainly identifying your stronger side is one of those first really, really important things that I put a lot of value in. So identifying your own side um, for those moments when you go to an event, you might go to a networking event, you might go to a wedding, you might be simply doing a family portrait. You might be just out with the girls at lunch um, and wanting to do a, a selfie. Um, if you know your side, you're, there's a bigger chance I feel that you're gonna get a stronger looking image because you're, you've gone to your more symmetrical side. And that's really what we're talking about. We're talking about symmetry. So. Um, that's all you get today. I'm Brad from the Headshot Guys. If you like my stuff, please um, smash that like button, subscribe if you want. Um, see you next time. Thanks for being here.